Dr. the Honorable D. Orlando Smith, Premier and Minister of Tourism, Honorable Archibald Christian, Territorial Representative, Dr. Marcia Potter, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education and Culture, Mr. Russell Harrigan, Chairman of the BVI Tourist Board, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, members of the media, members of the final committee on HM Prison Museum to bring it to this stage. A pleasant good morning and welcome. Before I go into the immediate program, I'd just like to give you a short background on this prison. And it started when I was employed by the BVI Tourist Board when Captain Whistler approached me about the fact that he thought the HM prison on Main Street would be a perfect place for a prison museum. And we started the discussions and he got very excited about it. And he decided that yes, it was something we could do. And he sat down and he planned it. And we sat on his porch for many years trying to decide how we would pan out, how it would come. I think he sat with three sitting governments before we were able to say yes, we can go ahead. And the Minister of Communication and Works took it by charge and began the process. Yes, it's a museum. Yes, it should be under the Ministry of Education and Culture. But my minister decided it was in the city of Rotong, and so therefore, he would lead the charge on it, and he did. Captain Whistler did a momentous task on getting this prison up and running and ready. And in the process of doing just that, Captain Whistler set off into a beautiful sleep. And I'm sure he's somewhere looking down on us today and very proud of the fact that we are now in a position where we can open. That opening took us another two years to get us to where we are today. But I am grateful to my minister for allowing me to continue. I'm also grateful to the Minister of Education and Culture for allowing me to continue, and also to the Premier who, had, in the final analysis, gave us the final funds to get it to where it is today. Um, without further ado, I would like to call on that Honorable Minister, the Premier, and Minister of Tourism to bring you some remarks. Premier. Thank you, John. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, indeed a pleasure to be here this morning. Um, I remember, before I get into my good remarks, I remember as a youngster, about um, 14, 13, 14, 15, in high school, um, coming here to play tennis, table tennis, ping pong, with the son of the then uh, chief of police, uh, Mr. Padgett Henry. We were in school together at the Rotong High School. It is a pleasure, it is a pleasure to be here, as we had yet another attraction to Rotong and to a tourist product with the opening of Her Majesty's Prison Museum. I gave a mandate that we needed to develop the facilities and attractions in the territory for visitors to engage in while they're here, particularly in the tourism sector. We have to also increase the number of cruise visitors coming here and more activities are needed for them. I commend the Ministry of Communication and Works, the Office of the City Manager, the Ministry of Education and Culture and the Tourist Board for taking on that mandate and working collaboratively to bring this project to fruition. They have allowed us to open this museum today. In doing so, they have demonstrated yet again our strength as one government and one BVI, and that we are working steadfastly for the enhancement of the territory of the British, of the British Virgin Islands and the sense of who we are as British Virgin Islanders. In this way, we will develop in the BVI we will develop the BVI's identity to our cultural expressions. I've been looking forward to this moment since my government's previous term in office, and I'm pleased that the works are completed. The primary objective of my government has been the preservation, enhancement, and promotion of our culture by defining and supporting those unique aspects of our cultural heritage. I consider Her Majesty's Prison Museum as an important tool towards achieving those goals and to help in teaching our people about our history and for when we came. 
Visitors will learn about the life and times of our people, incidents of crime, punishment, social insurrections, and events which may have led to incarcerations long ago, such as the Josiah Bay Rebellion of 1823, the island-wide conspiracy against slavery in 1831, and that conspiracy, I think, was important in you know, the emancipation. The Dong people riot of 1848 and the cattle tax country people riot of 1853. These will be portrayed through photographs and content displayed on interpretation signs and panels, as well as exhibits of prison memorabilia. This prison has a long history. It's probably one of the oldest buildings, if not the oldest building in Tortola. And you'll be able to see some of the historical features from the prison cells. There's a section for the hanging of the slave owner, Arthur Hodge, in 1811, after he was found to have committed heinous crimes, acts against the slaves. The news of his hanging acted as one of the catalysts that led to the abolition of slavery in 1834 and marked the beginning of emancipation in this territory. We also have a section where the prisoners were burned, were buried, the recreation area and other amenities, the condemned cell, as well as the segregation cell and the execution cell. These are all features of the prison museum which will be demonstrated. My government is working to ensure the effective cultural development of the territory at all levels, and this will be achieved via partnership with the private sector. Through programs such as the Emerging Fellows Award, delivered through the Ministry of Education and Culture, we are making scholarships available to talented national, nationals in the fields of art, drama, music, literature, and dance. We will also be creating a national policy and culture designed to promote an understanding of our cultural heritage, ensure its preservation, and encourage appreciation of diversity in culture that will empower its citizens to function in the global community. As an incentive, we will provide benefits to those who contribute artifacts and manuscripts to the government to promote our national arts and heritage, and also to those who contribute artwork to the National Art Gallery section of the museum. So today is a proud demonstration of the progress that this government is making to protect our tourism history and our cultural heritage. <clears throat> I once again want to welcome you here. I had a walkthrough a few weeks ago, and I was impressed with what we had achieved in that short space of time. And I'm sure you all will appreciate it and appreciate the purpose for which this has been created. Thank you so much. I'd like to apologize on behalf of the Minister of, Educa of Education and Culture, who's unable to be with us this morning. And I'd also like to apologize on behalf of the Honorable Mark Vanterpool, who's unable to be with us today. So this program has become very, very, very short. But I think that's key to HM Prison, short and sweet. But I'd like to take this opportunity to thank a number of people who have assisted us to get us to where we are today. And I need to let you know, by no means, the prison is complete. It is not complete. We have a couple more phases to go. And in time, with, with money, I'm sure that we will complete HM prison. Um, there is a part of the prison that um, we had no access to except through a ladder. And when we got to that location, the workmanship inside there was awesome. And it's something that I think the public would be very proud of. The prisoners had some excellent artistic skills, and we need to show off those skills. And you'll see some of them as you walk through the prison today. First, I'd like to thank Almighty God for giving us the strength and the courage and the fortitude to bring HM Prison Museum to this particular state. I'd like to thank the Premier. At the last minute, he came in, and he did what needed to be done for us to get to where we are. Thank you very much. Mr. Premier. I'd like to thank the Honorable Mark Vanterpool who put on his foot when it was time to put on his foot to ensure that the work was done on HM Prison Museum in the city of Rotom. And I'd also like to thank the Honorable Myron Valvin who 
gave me the opportunity to continue a process that I had started when I said to him, I think you need to take over the prison because it's a museum and I think it falls under you. And he said to me, Janice, you started this project, you need to cut, try to finish this project. So I'm grateful to him for that. Somebody else might have said, no, nah, you, you, you go ahead and do what you need to do. But he gave me that opportunity and I must tell you all, I'm very, very proud of this project. I'd also like to thank the BVI Tourist Board who actually, in the final analysis, were able to get the monies to actually finish it. Sharon, not because I didn't see you, not because I didn't call you, I know you're back there um, pushing this, this envelope for us to make sure it happened. But more importantly, I'd like to thank Mr. Persad. Mr. Persad worked day and night along with me to ensure that this process was completed. When I didn't see him last night when we were leaving here at 10.30, I said he had to be tired. He really had to be tired because the, the morning before he was here from like three o'clock in the morning making sure that everything was up to scratch and making sure that we didn't leave any stones unturned. Mr. Prasad, thank you very much once again. Team playing is the collaboration between all the ministries and Herbert Christian for coming through yesterday to making sure that you know, we'd be ready for today to every single person, Dr. Catherine Smith, Dr. Angel Smith, and those people who, Dr. Mitch Kent, those people who really did the foot growth to make sure that we had the information we needed to ensure that when we opened today, it would be an opening to be proud of. Tanya, on behalf of us and Captain Whistler, who's somewhere, I'm sure he's out there, in the, in the big wide world, thank you very much, because she took over when Captain Whistler finished. She did not have a clue. All she did was read his notes and try to make sure that she was able to fulfill the process. Unfortunately, her mom is not here today. She's not feeling very well, but we send greetings to her also, all right? And to all those who collaborated on this effort, because it was not a Ministry of Communication and Works alone. It was a collaborative effort. And I think that in the future, in the BVI, if we collaborate together, we'll get, we can move mountains. And I'd like to say on behalf of my minister who's not here today, the minister of education who's not here today, I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone who came out today. And the media, background information is available. Just call, just call us, all right? Thank you very much. And I think we'll now have a tour of HM Prison. Thank you.